Welcome in to another Etherhub weekly update. So I was supposed to make this video on Sunday. Um, I thought the MTG Assistant extension would be ready by then. It seemed that it took a little bit longer. Uh, the latest news now is that today we sent in another draft. Uh, and there's one more thing we need to fix, uh, which is going to be done this evening. And then tomorrow, I suppose it will be out. Uh, so this is the website you will uh, be able to download it from. Uh, it's not up right now. Uh, so this is the mtgaassistant.net webpage. Right now it's just uh, white and blank. Uh, I haven't uploaded uh, these graphics yet. Uh, this is a little preview of how it looks. So with a little preview video right here, uh, showing off how it works. If you saw my earlier video, you, you kind of know how it looks. We have uh, actually made some updates to it too, so I can show a little bit, uh, show some print screens of uh, what's new. And there's some print screens, and this is where you download it. So the extension itself is part of the Overwolf extension library, so that's where you um, need to download it from. So other than um, most of the time, uh, the recent days have gone to uh, to fix, make fixes on the MTG assistant, and uh, there's been a lot of work adding all the new spoilers that has uh, been spoiled. So uh, we also had our own spoiler card. If you didn't see that, mm. it has taken a t taken a lot of time, and there's also a lot of corrections I've done, like uh, on the I've seen cards have been. Uh, been um, spelled wrong which has been very annoying and very hard to track down and find and also there's uh, graphics like card images that has been updated like some of them were badly cropped and that has now been updated so if you see like uh, bad images in the new feral set on each web like control f5 to force refresh your cache uh, it's probably your browser that has cached the old images other than that, um, I'm uh, I also scoured the arena database. So this is this is the little script I made for um, for uh, looking around in the uh, new MTG arena files. So I'm playing in the uh, streamer event tomorrow uh, with the early access. Uh, I've been sponsored by Wizards of the Coast to play in that, and I've been that since the start. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing in those events. One thing that's cool is that I get access to the uh, game files before everyone else, so um, about a day before. And with that, I've uh, scoured the, the whole, all the game files for these arena IDs and mapped those painstakingly. Like it, it, It's 254, no, it's even more, it's 270 IDs. To manually copy paste and look up each card, and it's been a hassle. So this is, um, and there's also a little interesting thing I found. I can show show you. And there's some new cards in the uh, MTG Arena new player experience that I don't know. Like I know what these cards are. Uh, I think these planes and islands. I maybe this is the Full Art Lands. I'm not sure. No, I think the Full Art Lands is something else. Maybe. I'm not sure, but all of these IDs are new. Uh, Ancient Crab, so there's a card that's not in Arena like now. I think this is in regards to the new player experience that they are working on uh, upgrading. So I suppose that's what it is. Uh, I want to... Well, uh, I got to import these new cards when Scryfall gets them. So if I look on Scryfall, like none of these cards are here. Uh, so this is really fresh. I don't think they have access to the um, new uh, new files yet, game files. So I'll fetch them. Uh, well, and all of these are, well, except for these. These are probably available by default as soon as you get a client. I'm not completely sure which art they are. I can try to figure it out a bit later, but I'd rather wait till they are like the art are available and cropped and scryfall before uh, manually doing that myself. So this needs to be in place. Uh, it's very important now that I get all of these arena IDs early because now we run an extension and the extension um, depends on these IDs being correct and mapped to the correct cards. Uh, there's also 
there's also an, the database on Scryfall is not complete with all these IDs in the game. So actually, the Etrap database is more up to date than the Scryfall database uh, in that scenario. Like, there's no, it's only useful for people that run the uh, the extensions and stuff. Other than that, I also need to add these limited reviews. So white is out. I'm going to add that to the... Uh, that's also part of the extension now. So that's need to be in. Uh, the Theros drafts aren't available anyways uh, early. So there's only the sealed events. So it doesn't matter that much. Uh, most of the time, most of the updates on eTrub now has been like... It's been mostly uh, making an API for, uh, for the... Um, extension uh, we pull a lot of data from eTrub into the into the extension i'll show that to you in a moment also some smaller things um so what's this so these are all the notes yeah fix some stuff the gdpr consent thing has been updated uh, we had some bugs what was the bugs again i don't remember uh, so we yeah so we show deck videos in the extension Oh, there was a weird thing. There is a weird thing right now. You can take a look at that on Etrohub. Like uh, a little thing under videos is that all people in the uh, video section are marked as content creators. <laughs> it's only visual. It's a little error uh, I've made uh, a long time ago. I thought I, I remember this bug and I thought I fixed it. Apparently I didn't. So I fixed that, but I haven't pushed the update yet. I need to push that tomorrow morning. Uh, yeah, so the spoiler cards are available in uh, in the deck builder now. Uh, yeah, and we have some new ads that I haven't pushed yet either. There was an error with a Spanish swamp translation that Vestal fixed. Mm, yeah, I got some feedback on the deck builder that it wasn't... Uh, it was hard to find the import button, so I changed that. So now it's very clear where the import button is. More, and more people has been using this uh, rather than the traditional editor. I think it's it's probably because it says deck builder and going to my decks. This requires a login. So this was from the start. This has been with us from the start while the deck builder is new, uh, but the deck builder is way more visible. Maybe I should make myself a little bit smaller here so you can see a bit better. Yeah. Uh, what other things have we done? So these updates are not public. Like there's a lot of a lot of stuff here, as you can see. Like we do updates. We've been doing updates almost every day, but right now it's <laughs> all our attention has been on the extension, so we haven't done uh, done anything here. But Etherb is quite um, feature complete. Like we have a lot of stuff we want to add. And all of the next things that are coming for Etrub are administrative things, like big things uh, that requires a lot of change. And also, we're gonna make more stuff for the extension. Concentrate on that now. We think Etrub is in a good place right now, uh, so we don't have to focus focus a lot on that. Uh, also, I have to fo um, me. I have to focus on on um, what's it called. Uh, well, not ads, but uh, promoting promoting the uh, the new extension to get uh, users to use it. Also, have a lot of cool ideas for the extension. Well, let's fire up the game so you can take a look at it. And there are some small new things that I've made that are different from last time. Let's see. I'm just gonna make myself a little bit bigger. Oh, I need to remove this uh, bar too. So, give me a moment. I'm just gonna do this uh, this uh, raw. I'm not gonna edit this video. I think <laughs> it's so annoying. It takes a lot of time to edit. Well, let's try to do this raw. So, when you are in the client, the MTGA assistant will pop up in the top right corner. So, in here you can access the collection. So you've seen that earlier. Uh, new here is uh, changed a little bit of the layout, so yeah, we need to work on the loading, so that's not displayed when loading. Uh, so it's same here. You can see that it flickers, and there's the deck video section. This is new. 
So uh, fix the flickering so you don't see that uh, replacement code. Uh, that's not really important uh, right now in the first version. The important thing is to get uh, get something out. And uh, we've been working on this for a long time. So we can open Dex on Etherhub by clicking uh, this Dex. I don't have my browser right now, so you can't you can't see me open the uh, the pages. But they, op they open in your original browser. Um, we also have a change log here with what we're planning. So these are just some of the the uh, plan functions that are coming uh, soon. Uh, I have a lot of cool things I would like to have in the game that I'm missing that I can now uh, create. Uh, but some of them are <laughs> rather big changes, so it's nothing I can uh, can push very soon. Uh, let's take a little bot match. So I guess I've shown you this. Uh, there's nothing, nothing has changed in the uh, in the tracker. No, I don't think there's any changes in the tracker itself. Uh, so, but I'll show you how it works. So it loads these cool stats on the loading screens. Um, they are not uh, visible for a long time when you play against Sparky because it finds your opponent right away. So I'm just going to keep this. And one change we've done is that uh, the deck won't show when you select uh, the hand or when you when you do the mulligan decisions. Uh, it will only pop up when the game starts. So the reason it was hidden now is because I ha had hidden it. I don't actually use deck trackers. Uh, I like the, the tracker we have made for the collection part of it. And the draft part of it, I like the the part when you can see which card you are missing when you're drafting. The ratings are a bit helpful, but I'm usually good enough to not need those draft ratings uh, now. I do not play very often, so they are quite helpful. But the deck tracker, I'm not actually not a fan of using deck trackers. I think they are redundant. Like if you're a good player and you know what you have in your deck. Like, it, it's kind of useful to see the exact uh, percentage, but you kind of know. Like, if you're a good Magic player, you, you kind of know what the chances are. Like, you know, I know I have two more Dreadorb Butchers, Butchers in my deck. Actually, <laughs> scratch that. I don't have... I don't have <laughs> any more Dreadorb Butchers, but you kind of know your deck list. I'm not very familiar with this list because I usually just play for the uh, dailies now. It's not... I'm not, never playing seriously. It kind of sucks. And that's kind of a thing I'm looking forward to with the... Uh, looking at the updates now, that they are working on the 8-player draft pod. Uh, but I have a suspicion that the 8-player draft pod is like... a. Eight player draft pod against random people. I really want to play with friends. I, I want to have an eight player draft pod with friends. So I don't really care about uh, if we get. I think it's important. It's very important that we have eight pod drafts. But it would be really nice to be able to play pod drafts with uh, with my friends and invite people and have like tournaments and stuff. That's what I want to do. Uh, anything else here? No, nothing else. Like, uh, as I've said, it, it's taking a lot of time to do all these database things, importing cards, and of course fixing... Like, there's a lot of things going on in the Overwolf extension, like a crap load. So this is uh, that project, and as you can see... Uh, let's see on the sync and the uh, history here. Like these are daily changes and they are hour, hourly changes too. Like a lot of stuff going on, fixes, fixes. So we sent we sent the first draft in on, on Friday. And uh, they don't work on, uh, on weekends. So he had a quick look at it on Sunday and he had a little bit of feedback. So we did some fixes. Then they had a good look, look on it. Oh, the Reddit ads, Reddit pixels. Ah, I'll read that later. Oh my god, go away, please. So where was I? Yeah, so Monday. Uh, they had a good look, look on it. Uh, so Monday was yesterday. And they had uh, a couple of things we needed to fix, like big things. So yesterday night and evening was all spent on tweaking. Um, both of us, both me and Vessel. 
they did a lot of work and uh, today uh, they found some more stuff uh, in regards to the ads uh, some stuff we weren't aware of that we have to put in the extension and i think that's basically it i think after that uh, at least they haven't said say anything so if, if there's more things it's things we haven't been informed of yet or things they haven't found yet uh, but i think that's the last thing and i think we will see it tomorrow and tomorrow i will also stream so hopefully they will release it and then I can stream with the extension. And I don't know if the extension will work in the MTJ VIP client. Like this is a special kind of client you get in the event. Uh, so that would be cool to see if that works. And since I have a 100% collection, I can also check like if everything works. And if you stop by my stream tomorrow, you might find me uh, <laughs> doing some bug fixes uh, and maybe not playing that much. I have a lot of decks I want to play, like we have some cool decks from our content creators, like I made an article, if I can... One thing I need to do is make articles more visible here, because articles blend in with the rest of the stuff, I want article to be uh, highlighted. Uh, maybe I will change the background color of this or something, I'm not sure yet. So, uh, the real killer dub together with Capolo and Rats Relic and Titans Fan have made uh, all of these lists available for us. And I also put those up on the uh, streamer Discord, like the, um, the Discord for the uh, event. Shared it there and shared it on Reddit. So uh, I think uh, the, the deck I'm really excited to play is the uh, Croxa deck. Uh, Grixis, Grixis Rack. I think this looks like uh, fun to play. Basically discarding your opponent and winning with uh, Bolas. Maybe maybe you can get in for some damage with Rankle. So I think that's basically it. I guess it's back to work to me, uh, for me. And I'm gonna add start adding these ratings. First I have to do some training, I have to do some exercise, and I have to eat some dinner, and then I'm gonna do this, and... Um, yeah, some more Etherup stuff. Yeah, we're gonna prepare some bug, more bug fixes on Etherup. There are some things. I need a page on Etherup for the uh, new extension. Like, we have our own dedicated web page, but there needs to be a, a section here dedicated to it. I'm not sure what I wanna do. Like, do I wanna make a section for it, or do I wanna just redirect to the other site when you click this? Like, just redirecting I think is weird, so I think I should, uh, should make a page here with screenshots and stuff. Uh, make that uh, ready uh, before and then a, a download link to both like a link to the site and a link to to the um, to the Overwolf page where you download the uh, the extension so for those of you that are not fa familiar with Overwolf which I'm not familiar with I wasn't familiar with Overwolf before we built the app so the this is kind of a app library now I can put on this browser hide stuff yeah there we go i like to use these long bars just to there's a lot of i have a lot of icons and stuff there's nothing secret but uh, uh, I, I think it's in the way so i like to have those bars so this is basically an app library for games so you can so they have uh, two two uh, extensions for uh, for uh, mtj already uh, I've tried them out. As, as far as I can see, the other extensions on the market is, is a lot better. I think our extension is uh, going to rank um, uh, <coughs> rank on top of the extensions that are available for MTG Arena right now. We have a lot of cool things. Like Everything is inside of the extension and that's something I feel is very important. Like You don't have to go to external site to see your collection summary. You see it, everything directly in the client. Uh, some things uh, the other extension has are some, uh, are they have some personal tracking for decks and stuff. Uh, like there's no problem for us to have like win records and track stuff like that. Yeah, we can do that. I, I, the only thing is I want to do that inside of the client. I don't want Etherhub to store all that data. There's a lot of data. Like I don't see it necessary for us to store that for you. Like maybe that could be a premium function or something. Like I don't want all your data in that way, but I want data on the top performing decks and stuff like that. So that's things we're gonna, that's kind of the future versions of the extension. Like we're gonna work on 
pulling data from the extension to EtroHub and make a summary of the top meta decks, top performance in all events. So here, uh, I think Heart Arena is one of the most popular extensions Overwolf provides. Uh, they have a lot, I don't know anything about Minecraft, by the way, so there's probably a lot of popular Minecraft and uh, what's the other popular game? League of Le Legends. Uh, but I think Heart Arena is something a lot of people use, and that is one of the most popular uh, extensions. So when you guys download MTG Assistant, uh, if you liked it, please give it a review if you want, or at least leave uh, leave a little feedback. If you don't like it, don't mind. Don't don't leave any feedback, please. <laughs> I only want top excellent feedback um, and if there's something wrong uh, get into our discord discord at eatrehub.com or discord.eatrehub.com and let us know like this is version number one and obviously there are gonna be errors but there shouldn't be any big errors uh, arena is also coming to the um uh, what's it called epic game store epic game store so i i have no clue if how that installer works like will the extension work on uh, on uh, the uh, arena client inside of the epic game store i have no clue i suppose it's structured the same way so hopefully it's not a problem there might be an issue i don't think the issue will be on our tracker i think the issue might be on overwolf detecting the game maybe so i'm gonna keep close attention to that so for those of you that are watching this obviously you're you're already playing in the uh, the normal client so i guess it's not a problem for you uh, on mac mac is going to be exciting when that comes one day uh, i saw that on their update plan that's a long time until that happens i don't know how the support is there for overwolf um and also the structure is different. The log file is placed in different in a in a different place. So maybe I have to buy a Mac to try that out. And other than that, I'm gonna make a video, and you're gonna see more videos on the MTGA assistant. And probably going forwards, I think most of these updates video will be about the assistant, not so much Etrub. Uh, we could do some other things. Uh, we can check out some other things on Etrub. Like there's a lot of things to to talk about. Uh, both in uh, in how we earn money that's something i kind of want to cover like uh, how much we earn in revenue on ads um, and go through the statistics of the web page overall i think that's an interesting look i don't think a lot of people have seen behind the scenes on e on a mtg um, on mtg website so that might be a, a cool insight to to get and i want to share it with you guys whatever i can share um and i'm also full time at this now kind of um i work like i have a 10 percent commitment to my uh, normal work and i run i also opened a, a patreon for you to if you want to support me uh, if you support me on patreon like i think it's the four dollar support level you get a e -trib premium account and uh, our plan is to merge the Etrub premium account with a premium uh, thing on the extension. But basically the, the premium thing on the uh, premium account on the extension is just going to be uh, not showing you ads. Maybe like, like I said before, maybe like saving stats, like a, a cloud backup of your stats, personal stats, uh, which we don't have yet uh, with your deck performance and stuff like that. I mostly want to keep, I want to have all functionality free, kind of, but when it's like stuff like that, that is quite intense, like you guys that that um, uses all these MTG sites and trackers, like MT, especially MTG Arena Pro, I think, like those guys stores a lot of data. I think most people take for granted how much power is really needed to, to do stuff uh, like uh, stuff that they do and uh, just turning off your ad blocker like just having ads on the website for us it really helps both us out and all the other communities uh, help them uh, earn revenue so um, if you guys use mtg like free mtg sites like this uh, mtg arena pro goldfish uh, please turn off your ad blocker it really helps us all out 
Um, I think until next time, I'll see you then. I think this will conclude uh, this video for today. I think I've talked enough. <laughs> see you next uh, next time, guys.